One of the most fun parts of record collecting is seeking out the really good stuff. So today I'm going to share with you all my top five rarest records. Hey friends, welcome back to Vinylize. I am Jarrett New, and today I'm sharing with you my top five rarest records. And I was actually pretty surprised by how much some of these are worth. Also, you'll want to stick around to the very end of the video because I'm even throwing in a bonus record as well. So technically, we got six albums we're going to be talking about. Now, speaking of record albums, I wanted to let you guys know that recently Amazon approved our little channel for their influencer program, which is a huge honor. So basically, we now have a little page where I can easily share with you guys all my recommendations for vinyl albums, turntables, speakers, amplifiers, and lots of other great vinyl gear that's going to make your setup sound awesome. Now, full disclosure, I do receive a small commission on purchase but it doesn't cost you anything extra. So it's a really simple way to get the vinyl stuff you need and also support the channel. So if you wanna check that out, the link is in the video description down below. All right, now let's dive into some rare vinyl. Number five, Carl Sagan, A Glorious Dawn. This beautiful gold vinyl record single was pressed in 2016. And according to Discogs, it's worth anywhere from 65 to $125, which is pretty cool. Now, basically what makes this record so special is that it commemorates the very first record played in space by Jack White's label, Third Man Records. In fact, I even made a video about the whole thing right up here if you guys wanna check it out. So basically they played a gold plated record at 94,000 feet on a custom turntable tied to a weather balloon. And it was the first time that had ever been done before. So this little record right here was a limited pressing just for that occasion. Also, most importantly, it looks really cool. Number four, Rob Zombie, Hellbilly Deluxe. Okay, now this record actually picked up from a Hot Topic a couple of years ago. And even back then, I knew it was pretty rare. So when I first spotted it in the bin, I snatched it up for only $30, which is awesome because today it's worth anywhere from $100 to $135. So that was definitely a good decision. But overall, if you're a big fan of rock and metal, you're definitely gonna love this album. And as a bonus, that bright orange vinyl looks really awesome on your turntable. Number three, Madeline Peyreau, Careless Love. This record I picked up at Amoeba a while back. At that time, I paid about $35 for it, which I thought was a little pricey. But since this record is currently going for $90 to $130, I'd say it was worth it. Now, the reason this record is so rare is because it was a limited pressing from Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab, a legendary company, and also it's on 180 gram vinyl. So that's a great combination, and the sound quality, most importantly, is awesome. Number two, the Kung Fury soundtrack. This record is so cool. And you guys have probably seen this in the background of a lot of my videos. I like to put it up on the record wall because I'm so proud of it. Now, basically after I saw Kung Fury here on YouTube in 2015, I just knew I had to get the soundtrack. And at that time, they still had it in stock on their website. So I picked it up for about 30 bucks. Well, that was also a very good investment because now it's worth 110 to $200, which is pretty insane. Also, the music itself has a retro 80s synthwave feel to it, and the record's vibrant red color does look really great when it's spinning on your turntable. Number one, The Parlor Trick, A Blessed Unrest. Okay, now speaking of insane, this record tops them all. This is a very special black and gold pressing of the Parlor Tricks, A Blessed Unrest. Now, being that they're kind of a smaller indie band, these records had a very limited release on their Bandcamp page. And in fact, as of the making of this video, they do still have a few copies left. So I'm gonna put their link down in the video description below if you guys wanna check it out and pick up a copy. Now, online, depending on the condition of this record and the pressing, and the album jacket and all that stuff, these records are selling anywhere from $88 to $263. 
And what makes this record even cooler is that Meredith Yoyanos, one of the performers on the album, personally sent this record to me absolutely free, which was super nice of her. She actually saw the video I made right up here about the first pressing of this record on red vinyl, and she was nice enough to send this one over. So once again, a big thank you, Meredith. You are awesome. Now, another reason I love this record is that the music itself is hauntingly beautiful. It's spooky, eerie, it's got sounds of wax cylinders and theremin, so overall, if you love scary stuff, you're gonna love it. And finally, the bonus record, Jackson 5 ABC. Now, this record is an original pressing from 1970, and it's in fantastic condition. A friend of mine actually gave me this a while back, and I guess they didn't really know what they had, because currently, this is going for $88 on Discogs and $200 on Amazon, which is pretty awesome. Now, of course, that price is gonna depend on both the condition of the record and the jacket, but if you're not looking to go mint, you could definitely pick this up for a lot cheaper. But basically, I really like this record because the songs are, you know, very energetic and lively, and overall, it's just a great, timeless release. So I kinda wanted to include it in our list as well. Now, what are the rarest records in your collection? Let us all know down in the comments below. And if you love all things vinyl related, be sure to hit this subscribe button over here so you won't miss out on the new videos. And most importantly of all friends, have an awesome day and keep spinning that vinyl.